I don't think I've ever been up here. Is this even a part of the game we're supposed to be able to fly to? We can walk here, so they must have programmed it in. What a view, though! Holy moly! Oh, don't fall off. Thank you. Wow. Look at the sky. It's so cool. It looks like there's a big dome covering this whole island. Like, like we're inside a giant bubble or something. So we've got a call from Bob coming through. I think we're back up now. Special delivery. Oh, there's rock slimes in there now. Have a great chickens. Now available in the fabricator, rainbow lumps. Okay. So we got, uh, what did we get? We got a teleporter. We got a super hydro turret. We got, what just happened? Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, it started glitching out. I have no idea what happened. YouTube has been a little more glitchy than Twitch, although Twitch has also had its problems, if, if we remember that. So, something important happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? Oh, where am I going? Okay, I was gonna go make a silo. Where do we have room for a silo? Probably down this way. And this is where I want to get some of those butterfly slimes anyways, so it's probably a good spot down here. I forgot that running is so much faster, and I will do my best to run from now on. It involves Discord. It involves Discord. Guess what happened? Um, you got Discord Nitro for a whole year. Okay, uh, we'll put the Moon Nectar in there. Cool, now we are going. Oh my goodness, everything is full. We can craft up some market links, but today, on the agenda, we have, go get the Primordy Oil, the, the, the Prismatic Rainbow Rock, or Radiant Ore, I've got it, I've got it, and then the third one, the Beeswax. So, I think the best bet is to go over to this side of the island and grab the beeswax. I know there's some here, but I think there's more here. So, we'll head over to that side first and we'll see what we got. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to make a market link and uh, bring it with us just everywhere. Like, those are just falling out of the sky. Like daisies. I want to go to... I want to go to the far side. So we'll go this way. It involves something that happened three months ago. Oh, did you get your Discord back? Because you got hacked a few months back. Uh, we don't need Deep Brine, at least not right now. We do need to get up here, however. I am so excited for the better jetpack. Like, this jetpack is already a lot better. It's going to be even better, better. How did you get it back? I, I thought they totally locked you out on that one. I mean, I'm glad you got it back, but, you know, how? All right, we're listening for buzzing, because we need that beeswax. Um, I also wouldn't mind picking up Moondew Nectar, if we can see it, because that's kind of a rare resource. It looks like time hasn't even passed out here, which is crazy. Because we were gone for days. Maybe it resets based on sleep? be an interesting thing. Listen in for the beehives. Anybody got some beehives? There's one up there, right? No. Maybe I should have started on the other side. Maybe that's where all the beehives are. There's a bunch of tars. You set a pass- you sent- you set a password reset to your email. And then- with, wait. Oh, okay. Got it. Well, that's good. I, I thought they had changed the email on you, but it's good that you were able to get it back. Why did that tar blow up? That one just straight blew up for no reason. Okay, there's a hive up there. And what we're going to do, if that hive doesn't have any honey in it, then I think it's a little bit bugged. Um, so we will just uh, fall off the edge, reset, and then sleep. But I think we should be okay. Yeah, buzzwax. 
Do you have to get unbanned or reinvited? I think there should be. There, I mean, there's invite links in all the descriptions if you look in the description. So you should be good to join again. I see another hive over there. Ooh, see a little treasure. That was oddly slow. Right? Something's weird with those things. Anyways, whatever. So we need 13 more buzzwax. We have six. So we need uh, seven more. Another lucky slime. There have been so many of them recently. I see another beehive over there. We'll just keep we'll just keep hunting for them. Yeah, this is the common resource, which is nice. We'll have to go to the other side of the island for the primordial oil. We got all three. They spawn two or three, so. Any more beehives around here? I know there's gotta be. They're around here somewhere. I remember them being here. Oh, angry hunters. That's not that's not best. Um right? There were some around here? Well there's the radiant ore that we need. Well, some of it anyways. So I guess this is the side to be on. Okay. We're meeting our goals. Oh, there's Oh, there's two two for one. Easy. It's gonna be easy. I don't even know how much radiant ore we're gonna get. I just knew that we needed more than one, so there's probably honey here, right? No, there's not. It's probably honey here, right? Nope. That's a no. You're back in. All right, let's go. Glad to have you back on your OG account. Kind of surprised there aren't more, like, angry creatures around here. I am just on the lookout for radiant ore. Is that a spring of water? Can I have some? Yes, thank you. Any radiant ore or beehives back here? There's a beehive. I think they changed the backpack physics in one of these updates. Oh, they added a treasure right here. That's nice. Azure grass. Nice. Good to have, I suppose. It's not a bad thing to have more decorations available. There's probably a treasure up there. Right? There's got to be a treasure up there. They put a thing up here. Means that they put a treasure up here. There's got to be. There's not. I've been bamboozled. But you guys are bamboozled with me. Are there beehives? Any beehives? I'm looking for beehive. There's another beehive. I know we have enough, but it's nice to just have one. So I wonder if Slime Rancher 1 remake will be made. It would be nice to have these graphics in Slime Rancher 1. I don't know if they did anything to the engine upgrade, because it looks very similar. I know they redid the, they just did the snow engine. So that's totally new. I think there's some more on the other side of this teleporter as well. Now I'm just looking for radiant ore, and then we'll go to the other side of the island and get some primordial oil. There might be some down here as well. So but we need lots of radiant ore. We need primordial oil. We need buzz wax. We need all. We need all the resources. We only really need three of them, but we need them all. What's up, Penny Soda Pop? Welcome in. It's been a minute. How you doing? Oh, oh, silky sand. I'll take silky sand. That's the rarer of the deep brine, I think. Or deep brine is the one that you can find on the main island, and the silky sand is just over here. Something like that. There's so many chickens around here. Where are we at on the island? Okay, we're kind of reaching a dead end. That's okay. Get some more resources. So, I haven't seen you in a while? Yeah, I've been off doing my own Half-Life thing. There's probably something rare in here, right? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Radiant ore, we need that. There was, a, was there a strange diamond in this cave too? Maybe it respawned? I don't really know how the resources spawn. It looks like they can spawn anywhere around here. And I think there's some randomness to it. 
Because I remember there was a lot of... What is happening? I don't even want to go back up to the surface. There, there is, There are so many TARs. I remember that it was kind of hard to get out of there. And I was right. We can make it to that one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we have to make it to that one. Oh. More stuff to sand. I, I am just, I am in so much denial right now. Oh my goodness. Into the ocean with you. Yeah, they definitely changed how the backpack works because it is acting real strange now. It is acting so weird compared to how it was before. There's so many TARS! What happened to this whole island? No, don't change the music. I am eliminating them in an effective manner. If I was Tom Cruise in Oblivion, I would tell the computer robot lady that I am an effective team with myself. Imagine if I missed and fell in the water, right? I know, that would be terrible. I would be so sad if that happened. Okay, we might as well return to the main island and hit up um, the resource depositing depot thing. So I'll go back to this main teleporter because that should drop us right next to it. I'm also kind of keeping an eye out for more radiant ore, although I don't think I'm in the right area for that. It's uh, straight through here. Beautiful. All right, we'll drop these off, and that hopefully will take care of the Radiant Ore. Um, both the Radiant Ore, I know it takes care of the Buzz Wax, that's enough for everything. I might as well pick this up. I have empty slots. I'm depositing right here, I might as well pick this one up too. Oh, well, they're real generous with the ones that are easy. Hey, I, I'm digging this. This is great. Okay, so now we just need Primordial Oil. Nope. Some of the Tars are stronger than others, too. That guy just transformed. How rude. Imagine transforming into a Tar. Could never be me. Okay, so we need to go to... Now, Primordial Oil, there was a lot of it on this side. But I think we'll just do a run around the whole Ember Island. Ember Isle? Ember Valley. I've played Slime Rancher 2 before. It's not my first rodeo. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. You should play FNAF. People keep telling me to play horror games like that. Not like terrifying, not like the Blair Witch Project. I, I have reasons why I won't play that one on stream and it's mostly due to the content. FNAF is a good clean jump scare game. People keep telling me to play it. And I think part of me says no because it's kind of old. Like if I played FNAF, it like wouldn't, it doesn't meet a need in the marketplace, right? So many people have played FNAF. I, I appreciate you wanting to see me specifically play it. Um, I would be down to maybe play a jump scare game like it uh, that's new. Because um, I think that would add value to the, to the marketplace. Then I would feel okay about uh, pushing out a new series with a new game, that kind of thing. I need that what we're here for. We only needed one. So technically we are good now. But we'll explore a bit. It's been it's been a while since I've been here on the island. I don't know what they've changed and what they haven't. So you wouldn't recommend security breach in the slightest. That's good to know. Oh come on now. How does a slime biting me do more damage than standing in lava? Okay, yes, it's probably mag. I, I am not good with the science. Iron lung? I've seen iron lung. I... The trouble with me, right, with, with the horror games, like the tiny ones, like iron lung, I love the concept, but I don't have a horror game channel. So to switch to it does my channel a disservice. 
um, because the algorithm doesn't like I'm already not a big channel and I don't have a huge audience so if I switch games like that you YouTube the algorithm gets confused and then it like doesn't it doesn't recommend me to anybody because it's like oh this guy doesn't even know what his channel is supposed to be like even switching Half-Life if you guys look at the views from Half-Life to Slime Rancher like um, Switching to Half-Life was good. I think it was timely because we did the portal with Ray Tracing. Uh, we did Portal 2 with Ray Tracing. We did a bunch of stuff with Ray Tracing. So it was good timing there because of the Portal RTX thing. Um, I think for the for the rest of it, like switching back to Slime Rancher, it took a big hit in viewership on my videos. Which is fine because I love playing Slime Rancher. Uh... Yeah, so if I play FNAF, which is really not what my channel's about, or if I do anything like it, then it's it's kind of, like, it doesn't do anybody any favors. Don't know that it's worth taking those TARs out. Also, I think there's more primordial oil. Okay, yeah, they're, they're pervasive. It's time to go. I think there's more primordial oil on this side. I only have one water left. That is a problem. You can play Apex, but it's really big. You mean Apex Legends? <laughs> that's an entirely different, like, that's that's a whole different thing. Uh, no thanks. Come here. Come here. No thanks. Can I suck up this water? Ah. Gonna have to deal with these guys manually. Come here. How can the Tars not survive in water, but they can survive in lava? That doesn't make any sense. Like, it's tar, it would completely melt in lava. If it melts in water, it would definitely melt in lava. Have we been up there before? A Hat in Time feels really on brand. Yeah, a Hat in Time. Um, and that's been recommended. It's on, it's on the list. I have a big list of... There's a hidden cave there. Have we been in that hidden cave before? We're getting there. Somehow, we're going to get to that hidden cave. How are we going to get there? Okay. We can jump to the top of that palm tree. Probably from the tops of these this rock. Dude, we're finding secrets. This is why I just wanted to take a day to explore, you know, like, like re-explore. Because if they added stuff to this game, they probably added more than we thought. I think we can go around that way. Also, both of the Ori games. We played Ori. We played Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, I know there's another one now, right? Yeah, Secret Treasure Pod. And more, maybe. A fruit slime bait. Okay. There's, they're definitely going to expand this cave to something else. You just know it. It feels like there could be so much more in there. Okay. Let's go to the other side of the island again. I'll be careful not to die here. Also, I'm really bad at games like Apex. Um, Apex, League of Legends, any of the MOBAs. Like, I have friends that play, so I play occasionally. But it's just not like, I don't know, the, the competitive skill-based games, not my speed. So I'm much more into chill games like Slime Rancher. So, uh, Ori Will of the Wisp has some of the best combat in any game you've ever played. Okay, interesting. And the ending is boring. Well, if the ending's boring, what's the point of even playing? I don't want to play a boring game. Okay, we'll go... Oh, more radio. Nice. I, I was like, I think there's something on this end of the island that would be worth going to get. Oh, the music's so relaxing. All right, Penny, thanks for dropping by. If you gotta go. Yeah, running a YouTube channel is tricky. You gotta think about... You gotta think about a lot. Not, not, didn't quite make it. Oh, you're hungry.
That's so sad. All your all your fruits are rotting. There might be like one radiant ore over here on this island. Oh, there's primordial oil down there. Let's go grab that. It's worth it. We're all the way out here, so. Yeet. Worst ending in any game you've ever played. Wow, that's that's pretty bad. We didn't even get a little bit of lift off of that. Okay, we can head back now. I think we have enough to develop all the things that we want to, which is the jetpack and you know what? We're not really here for deep brine, but we're here and so is the deep brine. So I don't want to run into water. That would be a bummer. Especially carrying all these goodies. I think it's this way, right? The conservatory? I kept trying to call it an observatory, but it's a conservatory. Also, who builds this thing and then leaves? This is like the Subnautica guy came by and got bored consuming all the resources in the entire planet, built this giant glass structure that should not be able to exist, and then left. And then we picked it up in, uh, in Slime Rancher. Dredge seems like it would be a good game for the channel. Dredge. That's that fishing one, right? Yeah, that one's pretty chill. A little spooky. I think it's small too, so that could work out really well. What am I doing? I'm just like bashing my head into the marketplace, trying to think about games. Okay. This should be okay. All right, let's see what we can do now. The jetpack. Oh, we need one more wild. Oh, it's wild honey. It's not buzz wax. We needed 13 wild honey. Are you kidding me? That's the rare one. Oh boy. We can't even do anything. So let's sleep for like 48 hours and then we'll go out again and we'll try to we'll try to get all the wild honey that's out there. Um yeah, we'll sleep for a bunch of time. Actually, let's sleep until morning. It's pretty sure endings are not great, but the gameplay is pretty good. Again, like, if there's no story to it, it's it's tough to get into a game that doesn't have a lot of story. I'm gonna do some chores while we're while we're here at the ranch, at the at the conservatory. I'm gonna do some chores. These guys are all hungry. And it's rude to leave your 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 bunny cats uh hungry. It's just rude. I'm also gonna set all these to slow. Because I think I have seven in each one, and slow will feed them enough to not be hungry. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna leave one of you without food. It's you. You guys need to share. They'll they'll share. It's fine. There's a story, but it ends too fast. Yeah, I remember hearing. I, I saw. I, it popped up. I think Jack Septic I played it, and so I didn't watch the video. Um, but I remember seeing he thought it was really short, so I was like, hmm, interesting, okay. Let me see what it takes to make- let, I'll finish- I'll finish feeding the slimes here. I'm not even collecting the ports because I just don't need to. We have all the money that we need so far, so I, I'm just feeding them so they're not hungry. There's a hunter port outside of this. That's not good. You guys didn't get out, right? No. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay. How are you guys getting out? Oh, they broke the air net because they're angry. Oh, I should watch out for that. Guys. Be happy. Stop being angry. Ow. Go get the food. It's right here. Eat. Stop being angry. Okay, we're all happy now. Cool. Alright, good to know. Don't let those guys get angry. I did set it to slow.
These guys are probably angry too, because why not? Everyone's angry at me today. Yes, there's more on the tree. Yes, I am out of space. For the tree. Oh, we can change it while we're shooting fruits into there. Journey would be a good game for the channel. Really short, you can probably beat it in one or two streams. Hey, I like one or two streams. That That's the way to go. Okay, you guys will just keep eating forever. So, you can't fool me. <laughs> What's up, Roblox? Welcome in. If you're watching the, uh, the Pixels movie, I don't think I ever saw that. I saw the emoji movie when it came out. I thought Pixels looked better, but then after it came out, there was no hype for it anymore. If a movie comes out, it's like if there's a lot of hype for a movie and it comes out, and then there's still hype about it, I'm like, I gotta go watch that. But that one came out, and then everybody just instantly stopped talking about it. And I was like, okay, probably not worth watching then. There was Jellystone up on the wall up there. That was interesting. They made a movie about emoji. Yeah, the emoji movie. That was one of the ones that, like, people kept talking about it. So I was like, ah, oh, that's probably pretty good. Okay, okay, hey. You need to calm down. Come here. Be happy like your friends. Be happy. Be happy. Okay, guys, stop eating that guy's food. He needs to be happy. Where'd he go? Where's the angry one? Where's angry boy? Did he eat the thing? No. Eat! Eat! Eat the fruit! There you go. Oh, man. You're back. Welcome back. Okay, let's see here. Um, we have more slimes over here. Have you played Pac-Man? I've played Pac-Man. Like, back in the day when we used to go to arcades, because I am an old man. Look how many odd onions there are. I mean, yes, there's a lot of carrots, but look at the odd onions. There's too many carrots. Okay, I think what we do is throw the odd onions into there, and then we stack the thing with carrots. But we have too many plorts anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, awkward. I'm just launching carrots into the stratosphere. Alright, alright, I'll pick it up. I will atone for my mistakes. Now, we combined bats and something else, right? Bats and we must have done... Who likes the, the, the cubeberries? Oh yeah, the phosphors. So I think we put these in here. I guess it really doesn't matter because... Okay, we'll feed them with Q-berries and then we'll stack that with uh, pomegranite. Po pomegranite. I don't know, I see grain now and I think of Minecraft. Thanks to a certain blonde, waffle-headed British YouTuber. There's a Pac-Man on the Ness? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, all our slimes should be spider bats. Can you imagine that? That sounds terrifying. Like, I would not want to see a bat perched and be like, oh, cute little sky pupper. And then it comes down and it's actually a giant spider. Like, like a six inch spider? No thanks. Nope, don't want, yep, yeah, definitely don't want flying spiders. They're, they're bad enough when they're babies and they fly on the webs. And then it somehow it gets even worse when they when they are just like old and have wings. Like that's terrifying. No thanks. Yeah, I also like if there's a spider inside, I'll take it outside. If there's a spider outside, I'm chilling because that guy's eating mosquitoes, and I'm all about spiders eating mosquitoes because I hate mosquitoes. So you guys are happy. Um, I do need some water. I don't need this board. Can I make ash with water? No, but they're kind of angry. All right, what do I got around here? What can I feed to the ash? Um, well, I can go get more Q berries, but I threw all of them into the bat cage. Puppy with bat wings are cute? Yeah, I think bats are kind of cute. I mean, obviously not every animal is always cute, but I, I think bats are cute. They're like little sky puppies. Because they're mammals, they just fly. 
Like, it's weird that mammals have so many, like, exceptions to the rule, right? Like, the platypus and something else, the aardvark, I think, are mammals that lay eggs. And it's just like, excuse me, what? That's, that's, that's not how that works. And then you've got mammals like dolphins and whales that are like, they're, they live in the ocean. And you're like, um, that's, that's not how that works. Uh, and then you've got mammals that have wings. You're like, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, I am pretty sure that that's not how that works either. But, you know, whatever, man. That's just, I, I have a proposal that I haven't actually submitted anywhere because I doubt it'll go anywhere. But I think we should just have three categories of animals. We should have land beasts, sky beasts, and sea beasts. And that makes it really simple. Does it fly and nest? It's probably a sky beast. Does it live in the water? It's a sea beast. Does it live on land? It's a land beast. Easy. Done. We need to go find more buzzwax. So let's go. We'll go over to the rainbow side of the island. And then, then we have to pick. Do we want 50 more energy or do we want to upgrade our jetpack? I think I want to upgrade the jetpack. Because that just seems like a way better thing to upgrade. Like, we know exactly what 50 more energy will do. And while it could be kind of useful, potentially, to have that extra energy, so we don't have to keep, like, waiting for it to recharge. Also, like, we haven't found anywhere that we couldn't get to because we only had 200 energy, you know? So I'm kind of thinking we don't really need the energy, but the jetpack, like if the jetpack is more powerful or uses less energy, that primarily is what uses our energy up anyways. So it's good stuff. Yeah. Your cat started barking and you found out it was a dog and you still kept it though? Yeah, wait a minute. Hold up. I feel like we missed a lot before this happened. So you have yourself a dog that looks like a cat, or a cat that looks like a dog. Now, the buzz wax is not what we need. We need the super honey one, which is on the like rare par parts of the island, I think, because that is the rarer of the resources. So keep your eyes out, everyone, for the, the raw, it's raw honey. Did they straight call it rare honey? Is that a thing? Also keep your eye out for treasure pods because they added a bunch of them to the game. I'm surprised there's not like buzz wax there, you know? Also keep an eye out for all the other rare stuff because we'll need it eventually. Strange honey. Uh, which way? That way goes back to the main island. This way goes to this little alcove up here. Let's see what's in the little alcove. Hopefully some resources. I think I'm just making a big loop now. Um, yeah, we're just making a big loop. But that's okay, because it looks like these hives have all refilled. We'll get more buzzwax. Again, we'll need all these resources again. So, and there was a wild, a wild honey is what it is. They don't, they didn't just get lazy with the naming. We call it rare honey. It was around here though, right? It was like up here. Yeah, it's over there. And then I think there's another one by the big tree on this side of the island. Oh, there were three. Let's go. It's a pretty common mistake to confuse your cat with your dog. Is it a common mistake, though? I'm not so sure. I I've yet to confuse a cat and a dog, especially one that I own. Like, our cats are definitely cats. Now, that being said, my father-in-law, when he was growing up, had a cat. It was a black cat. And... He treated it like a dog. He trained it like a dog, and it actually was trainable. So, his cat... Oh, there's a secret door over here. Wait a minute. How do we open this door? I haven't seen anything that would open that up. Alright, we got ourselves a mystery here. There's 
some buzz wax. TV broke and you got it back from the guy that fixed it. Also, you have a Super Nintendo. Nice. And a NES, but they're different. They are different. It's a little confusing that they had the NES and the SNES. And I, I do know that it's it's not actually called a SNES. Nobody calls it that. But you know what? I'm a millennial. I make up words for stuff. Gen Z doesn't make up words. They just take letters out of existing words. Millennials make up the words. This is the... Both of them show a great disrespect for the language. Although, let's be real, it's English. It doesn't really need to be respected. Um... Yeah, I... Like... I have some Gen Z friends. And, uh, they, they explain to me how... Oh, look at all those hives over there! Glad I went up here. We can see all the hives. They explain to me how the Gen Z stuff works, and I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. But also, you know, as a millennial, if someone's like, "Oh, that's a heckin' good pupper," I'm like, I, I know exactly what you mean. That that is a heckin' good pupper. All puppers are heckin' good puppers. That's the that's the secret. Yes, wild honey, got five of it. We need eleven, right? Okay, that guy's sleeping. We've already read it. Look at all the hives everywhere. There's so many hives. I wish there were more special hives. Instead of these, like, run-of-the-mill everyday hives. Return to what? What even is that? I've seen Reject Humanity return to Monkey. You didn't know your dog was a dog until he was 10? How does that happen? Language isn't real. Language isn't real. It's- that's an interesting one, right? Like, language changes- Oh, <gasps> there's two wild honeys! Let's go! Dude, this is the best wild honey run I think the world has ever seen. I was gonna say that I've ever had, but I, I think this is the best wild honey run that Slime Rancher 2 has ever given out. Oh, and it's a triple! Oh, baby, a triple! If this one's also a triple, we can afford both the energy and the other one. I don't think it's going to be a triple, though. Okay, I think we need to get to that tree. Then recharge. Then we can fly back over this way. Oh, we're one short. Take this Moondew Nectar, too. It's fine. Everything is okay. Okay, I think there was one more, like, in this tree, potentially. Right? This is like a cave. Man, it is so spooky when you go underground and there's tars above you. Like, you just- you just hear them. Birds are just flying cameras! All right, the theories are coming out. Wait, this is this what's on the other side of that door that I said? No, it's not. That's a different door that we haven't opened. How do you open that door? How are you even in here? There were no slimes in here. That one just split into two. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, that, that thing was flying around like crazy. It was like an eye floater. Oh, ooh, okay, wait a minute. There's another Hunter Gordo here too. All right, well, we'll come back with me. We have the meat. What do hunters like? They like the briar hens, right? There's something around here. Oh, more buzzwax. Where are we now? 
Okay, we already got that one up there at the top. There might be another one like on this cliffside if we start exploring around here. I mean, there's almost enough chickens around here that we can just start collecting them and by the time we're ready to head back home, we would have enough. Honestly, I'm gonna head home. It's this way. I'm gonna head home with what we've got because I don't want to lose it doing something stupid. And you know me, I would do something stupid. Uh, did you know that trees are modified to grow microphones in the leaves? Oh no. Uh, is it just you or has stream been having a lot of connection issues in the past few months? I don't think it's just you. I mean, it's since we switched to YouTube, it's been having some problems. So, and I switched to the RTMP YouTube first to do uh, H.265 encoding. Um, and then I switched back to the standard H.264 on the regular YouTube ingest servers. So, I don't know. I, I think YouTube has some things to sort out with the live stream stuff. Monster slime can hurt you. That's right. Okay. This is a refinery link, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm like, I'm like dumping resources in this. You loading screen? Oh yeah, wait, that doesn't... Okay, now we can head back. Uh, we need to pick up Hunter Slime. We'll open up the Slimepedia. And see what the Hunter Slime's like. I think it's Briars. Because if I remember from Slime Rancher 1, the Briar Hens were in the same area that we found the Hunters on the Mossy Island area. And I think that's kind of, that's what we're looking for. White Slime? I don't know that we've seen a white slime. Uh, the closest thing we have is are the tabbies, the gray. I guess this is a really light shade of yellow. It would be interesting to see a snow slime. And that very well could be a thing. Look at that, all my slimes are happy now. They're so happy. Okay, let's go downstairs. I've decided to get the jetpack upgrade first because we know what energy is going to give us. I want to know what the new stuff is, man. Yeah, we're one away. Fabricate this upgrade. Enhanced jetpack thrusters that consume 20% less energy but produce double the fun. So... Um, we can probably fly further with this now. So, that's cool though. Um, yeah, one more wild honey. You're watching the Pixels movie on your DVD. DVD player. You do so many things at the same time. Like, like, so many things at the same time. Okay, I think F1 opens the Slimepedia. Yeah, and we'll go to Slimes, make our way over to the Hunters. Uh, Hunters? Did I pass them? Excuse me? Do we not have Hunter Slimes in our Slimepedia? How is that, how is it not in there? Am I blind? Wait a minute. They should be in there. What in the world? Okay, well, I'll go get some more, um... I'll go get some chickens. They're over this way. That's so weird. Alright, I'm gonna pick up... I'll just get 40 briars and 40, uh... 40 whatever else is in there. It doesn't really matter. I just need 50. Regular hens it is. Trying not to pick up the chicken ones. Oh wait, that's a sea hen. Get back in there. How many chickens there are? This is insane. Sorry, chickadoo. Way too many chickens. Sorry, Rustro. Sorry, Rustro. Sorry, both Rustros. Okay, this this is way more than we need. I'm pretty sure Briar Hens are a favorite food, so we'll move on. And yes, I know the saber tooth slimes are over there. They like being it. They need to hibernate. It's fine. It's the Ice Age. They'll hibernate. Everything will be okay. Eat the chickens. Now we're gonna we're gonna go feed these chickens over to the hunters. So now we can run real far, and we can fly real far. And that's a great thing. I don't know that the jetpack upgrade even did anything. I I don't know. 
We should have done a benchmark to see just how much better it is. I don't think it's any better. But we've got ourselves a cave. Now I'm wondering if that guy is sitting in front of a an upgrade for the vac tank capacity. Because we've yet to see the tank capacity go up. Which one is the best way to get there? Probably the blue one. We'll go. We'll go full around. I think it's this way, right? Yeah. Hunter slimes like roostros, really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I mean, we brought enough. Did the red slime eat an apple? I think, yeah, they're they're just called pogo fruits, if I'm remembering correctly. Well, might as well start collecting the materials now while we're while we're here. We'll need them eventually. Okay, I need to not fall off any edges right now. I'm kind of scanning upwards to see if there's any, uh, wax. Because I really would like to get that energy. So the hunter guy is, like, down below somewhere. Pink Ninja and I one time, we were hiking. There's a, there's a, a park that we like to go to that's got a bunch of, uh, like, hiking trails and stuff. There's one big hiking trail. And we went. Oh, that too. And we got to this spot where there were just, like, a whole bunch of artificial beehives. And if you know Pink Ninja, you know that she does not like bees. Just nothing to do with bees. She thinks they're cute when they're in Minecraft, and other than that, she does not want to be around them at all. Um, so, anyways, that we got, we just hear this crazy buzzing. And it's just like, it's getting louder and louder and louder, and finally we gave up on the hike, because we're like, um... Excuse me, I, I did not sign up to be around tons of bees. They, they were just artificial hives everywhere. It's pretty nuts. But it reminded me, this, this buzzwax stuff reminded me of it. Where did we even find that, Gordo? He's, he's right, he's right under here. Under where? I know, just under where. Right. This is how my brain works all the time, by the way. Oh, here we go. This is, yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's not briar hens. So, you don't like red slimy creatures. You have a very big fear of bees because you don't know if you're allergic to them or not. Well, honestly, with all the things you're allergic to, I I would also be afraid of bees, just in case. Kaboom! What's that? Oh, I never picked up a hunter slime. And that's why I didn't have them in the Pedia. <gasps> Strange diamond, it was worth it. I hope there's a log in here too, that would be great. Oh, it is so peaceful in here. Oh, here, guys. You can have some chickens. Enjoy them. Azure shrubs. I'll take that. This game just knows how to do atmosphere. Like, it's cute and it's little. How do we open this one? There's no way to open it, though. Maybe this is part of the game that hasn't been finished yet? I don't think there's a way to go through that. Because there's no, like, um... There's no capsules here for plorts, like the rest of them. Okay, where does that go to, though? It goes, like, to this other side. There's a cave here, too. What's that? Oh, it was a moon deer nectar. Oh, we've been in here. What's on the other side of that door, though? It was like... It was like down below us right here. Huh.
how strange. There's a couple doors. But we don't know where they go. Interesting. Oh, come on. You know what? I take it all back. This jetpack upgrade was worth it. Because that was a lot further than we would have been able to go before. Okay, so we just need one more, um... One more wild honey. And then we're set. So let's go find one more, shall we? And then that'll be... I'll, I think we'll call it there. That might be one there. We probably already harvested it, though, because I don't see it dripping anything. But I'm going to check it anyways, because it's worth checking. I see the buzz wax that's available there. Yeah, we already got that one, so... Still can't do anything with the rift that I know of. There, it was dug below this tree, right? Yep. Why would anyone like pepperoni pizza? Dude, I love pepperoni pizza. You like your pizza with only pineapples? No cheese, no tomato sauce, just pineapple. Um, that's called a pineapple calzone. Like that's just that's just pineapple on dough. That's I don't even think that's a pizza anymore. Nah, pepperoni pizza is amazing. Like I I love pepperoni pizza. I go to Little Caesars and eat their pizza, and then I suffer afterwards because their pizza is such poor quality. But I love it nonetheless. Like there's a special place in my heart for Little Caesars pizza. I remember, if you were to fly down there without the jetpack, if you were to jump down there, you'd be soft-locked. But I think you need the jetpack to get this far. Or at least you're supposed to have it. I don't, I don't know. Not crazy, just not normal. Ain't that the truth. I think that's pretty much true of everyone, right? Like, Not crazy, just not normal. I don't think I've ever been up here. Is this even a part of the game we're supposed to be able to fly to? We can walk here, so they must have programmed it in. What a view, though! Holy moly! Oh, don't fall off. Thank you. Wow. Look at the sky. It's so cool. It looks like there's a big dome covering this whole island. Like, like we're inside a giant bubble or something. I don't think we can make it up there. Oh, but we can. Uh, but we can't walk up here. We can! What is happening right now? Where even are we? Can we get up here? No, we've definitely reached... This is the top of the world. This, this is the highest we could possibly go in this game. Guarantee it. Um, also, does this help us at all? I don't think so. I'm just looking for wild honey. Hit me with one more wild honey, and I'm out of here. I'm like, I'm like Wally from, uh... What's that game that we played? Bendy and the Ink Machine? You're banned from the viewer group, now you're a guest? What? You can't ban him for liking pineapple pizza. You could ban him for swearing, but, you know, you'd have to catch him swearing. I don't think that's gonna... Yeah, Wally Franks. Not Wall Wally from, from the movie. I'm out of here. <laughs> Leviathan is as famous as I am, pretty much, because all the people that know me from the stream know Leviathan. He has inadvertently gotten as famous as I have. Actually, probably more so, because his videos uh, get more views than mine do when he posts the Beat Saber videos. Honestly, it's because he has skills and I've got nothing. I, I just I just play games. That's it. I don't, I don't play a lot of skill games because I ain't got the skills to play skill games. Oh, that's, that's not what I thought it was. I'm just kind of like going around the same areas we've already been to. Hoping that maybe something spawns in. Is that a chicken? I will rescue you, chicken. I cannot rescue you, chicken. You're on your own. What's 
that like... You guys see in the very top right corner... Ver Hang on, I'll do this. Very top right corner on that shrub that's up there now. There's like this little rainbow thing gleaming in it. You guys see that? What even is that? Oh, there was one up here. If I'm not crazy and I'm remembering correctly, there was a wild honey up on one of these, like, alcoves or something. We can fly so much further now. Definitely worth getting that upgrade. Okay, we're gonna fly around the island this way. Play Benny and the Ink Machine after this? Um, I have actually, uh, on Twitch. I don't think it made it to the YouTube. Which is a bummer, uh, cause that was a great game. There's a couple clips of me trying to grab the submachine gun. And I was very disappointed. I will save you, chicken. There you go. I have saved you. Now you can be thankful. Okay, another good view spot here. Wow. Is that one right there? I think it is. I think we can fly over there. There's probably one down there, and there's one up there. So... Yep, it's one. There's a spent one there. Oh, we found it. So glad we found it. What about Benny and the Dark Revival? I haven't streamed it. I don't really... Um, is it out? I feel like it wasn't, like, a typical game. Oh, feels good. Now we don't have to end the stream having not accomplished one of two goals that we had. Also, I'm gonna climb this waterfall. Oh, it's hard to fly through the water. Interesting. I mean, it would be hard to fly with a jetpack through a, a thunder and waterfall. I love the sound, how it changes. Where to next? Up here? Sure. Is that another one? That might be another one. Right there. Or right there. Those could also just be a uh, buzzwax. Stream's almost ending. Yeah. Oh, it's been out since January? Oh, we've already been up here. How cool though. Like, it is just, it is just real chill up here. We definitely got that one already. We just got that one. Let's go check those two. I think we can check those two and then head home. It looks like we already got that one. Yep. And the other one was there. I'm pretty sure we got this one too. Yeah, we did. Okay. So we're just heading back uh, to the conservatory. And then and we're out of here. Let's see, is that? That's a drone? With a log? Where are we? And where are we going? Did we disappear? Where, where's the UR here? Hang, hold up. Oh, we're right here. Oh man, I really blended it. Okay, we gotta go back this way. Thumper is one of your favorite games. I don't, I haven't even heard of Thumper. What is it? Can we make it with our new jetpack? Is it worth it? Now we have a strange diamond. It's not worth, uh, it's not worth risking it. But I think we can go through here, right? I think we opened this up before. Now we can go through it. Oh, they're all happy in here. Oh, I'll take more radiant ore. We'll need it eventually, right? Best to be prepared. That way when the new game uh, content comes out, because it's early access, they keep publishing new stuff. Then when it comes out, we're just like, boom, got all these resources. So, Friday's stream, which I'm really excited about because we get to go back to the snow. We're gonna go back to the snow. That's all I'm trying to say. And we're gonna go explore some of the new stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa. That was a powerful sneeze. I'm getting my dad's sneeze down. Honestly though, I've had a dad's sneeze down for years. Like, they just, they just, you have to sneeze with all of your being. That's how, that's how you do a dad sneeze. Alright, chickens, uh, I'm gonna just release ya. 
go ahead and start your colony. And you'll be good. I could have burned them, and I did not. So they should be grateful. I should also go put this moondew nectar in the silo, but we can do that tomorrow. Okay, boom, boom. Got the wild honey. We could use the strange diamonds for the health upgrade if we have enough of the other materials. Let's let's do... Oh, tank guard. Um, let's do the power core first. Boom. 250. Well, I think we got all the upgrades. If we get the tank booster too, which I have a feeling is in the new content they've already released, then we'll definitely do this. Anyways, that really does take us to the end of our stream. So thanks for coming on by, guys. If you, as usual, would like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, it's one or two or three clicks for you, and it really helps me out a ton. I would appreciate that so much. Thank you all for being here, and as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.